Welcome to 61 Anna's Hope Company Quarter. This is the Mid-Island Anna's Hope, as opposed to the East End one. And as you can see, we have a beautiful three-bedroom, two-bath house. You get a two-car carport. I'm parked sort of in the front there, so you can see there's room easily for another vehicle under the shade in here on the island, which is always a good idea because the sun's pretty intense, so keeping your car out of the sun is always a good idea. We'll get back to this area, but as you can see, exquisitely maintained and super good condition. The owners uh, completely renovated this house pretty much top to bottom. As you come in the entry hall here, to the left you have one of the guest bedrooms. That's a king size bed, by the way, in this room, so it fits quite easily. You get the tongue and groove ceilings. Closets on my left. Another linen closet behind the door. And then opposite this guest bedroom is the second guest bedroom. This one has a queen size bed. Same tongue and groove ceilings. And then as you head back down the entry hall, you'll come to the guest bath. All completely renovated from top to bottom. Beautiful tile. You have a tub here, which is good for the little, the little squirts can shower or bathe in a tub. But as you can see, everything's nice and new and fresh. You've got another linen closet here in the hall. And then as you come into the end of the hallway, you enter the master. This is obviously the biggest of the three bedrooms. It does have a king size bed. It also has a view out to the south shore. We're looking southwest at that point, and that's about due south looking that way. And then into the master bath, which is en suite. Also completely renovated, beautiful tile. All new vanity, toilet, light fixtures, and shower. So you have the option of both shower and tub, which is good for families with little kids. It's always a bonus to have a tub. And then you enter off of the bedroom areas here into the living room, which is quite a big room, actually. <clears throat> There's a screen door leading out to a patio out front, which we'll go to in just a moment. Same tongue and groove ceiling in here, but instead of being painted, it's stained and varnished. Nice wood effect. And then through the arch, you enter the kitchen. You've got your water cooler, stainless steel appliances. Super clean, super organized, lots of cabinets. And then off of this kitchen is a pantry. Lots of room for storage, cleaning supplies, groceries, beers and sodas. Got brand new washer dryer, new electrical hookup. You have a new electrical panel there. This owner really went through the house and did a lot of uh, access up to the uh, crawl space and the ceiling attic area. Um, they did a lot of upgrades, not only to the actual cabinetry and the, the furnishings, but the actual plumbing and electrical as well. They also replace the windows. So all of these, <clears throat> excuse me, all of these windows are only about two years old, about three years old actually. So they're all in perfect operational condition. A lot of times in some of the homes here, we'll see the <clears throat> window cranks don't work. You won't find that in this, this house. They all, <clears throat> excuse me, they all work perfectly. And under the aloe plant there is the cistern cover on this side, so I'm actually standing on a cistern right now and looking back into the living room. The other cistern covers here, so there's what I call twin cisterns, one on each side. And then out to the covered patio area. As you can see, beautiful South Shore view, coconut palms galore, and 
just a big, expansive, full-length patio that you can sit out here and take in the breeze through the trees. I'll give it a shot here. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah. I could sit here all day. Lovely. Lovely setting out here. And then down the stairs, I'll take you down underneath this patio. You can see where the cistern overflow pipes are. These are all epoxy painted masonry concrete stairs, which are a real nice clean feature. Keeps everything real easy to, you know, down here we like to run the pressure washer once a year just to kind of get all the dust and cobwebs off and makes it real easy. And as you can see, they smartly extended their cistern overflow pipes out beyond the foundation onto the lawn area septic tank down below big yard so the yard runs kind of along those coconut palms over to about where i'm pointing and then across where you see those posts over to that pole and then back up um, behind the uh, storage shed as you can see all new guttering and downspouts i guess you could actually drive a car if you had a boat or something and you wanted to bring it around you could bring it up here and park it right here if you had a little whaler or something. Nice new pump house, new metal roof. Inside we have a brand new water filtration system. You've got your 25 micron or 75 micron uh, sediment filter. You got a 25 micron sediment filter and you got a five micron charcoal. And then it runs through this ultraviolet water purifier. So the water coming into the house is basically Dasani. Brand new water pump brand new water heater and plumbing as you can see so real nice and then over in the storage shed here we have generator generator transfer switch and the aluminum panels for the hurricane shutters so each of these window openings has a aluminum panel that you can uh, deploy in the event of a storm so really you got everything you need here. Um, brand new electrical uh, meter here, digital meter. And then this is the screen door that takes you back into the kitchen area. So you can easily get out to the side yard. So real nice setup. Mid Island location, you're about five minutes from Sunny Isle Shopping Center. About seven, eight minutes to Christiansted Town. Uh, really good central location, a lot of people love you know living mid-island because you're just close to everything and it's a great neighborhood as i mentioned newly paved roads and a beautiful view of the south shore just beyond the coconut palms those have grown up a bit but as you can see there's the ocean so take it in and if we can show you this house let us know we'd love to give you a chance to see it in person thanks again for watching have a good day